Hi, I'm Ambassador Hope and I'm Chairman of Prosperity Studios and this is a very urgent message to US Senator DeMint. You can make such a difference by changing your statement from negative to positive and following the news of an agreement being reached on the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, PEPFAR and joining the President's legacy, Hope on Africa, an international public-private partnership. You can tell everyone that you're pleased that efforts have been made to strengthen the President's AIDS relief program with additional oversight, and that you are releasing the hold on the legislation because you've been able to leverage the public sector budget of $50 billion with a private sector investment of $55 billion. This will more than double the budget and empower the US and the international partners to be fiscally responsible and serve the need at the same time. You supported the President's original 2003 legislation, which has been a significant success. However, by leveraging the private sector investment, you can further show that worthy causes can be funded around the world and America can contribute their fair share. I would like you to accompany me to the White House for the signing of the executive order by President Bush in the next 48 hours so that he is empowered to demonstrate to the world that Americans want to put their compassion into action. They want to save the lives of 13 million orphans and provide them with a sustainable future. They want to increase the number of HIV AIDS treatments from 5 million to 25 million so that everyone has access to treatments. Senator DeMint, you should be so happy that Congress is acting responsibly by ensuring the funds are used for those truly in need and by leveraging them with investments from the private sector. The private sector can deliver the services and treatments at the speed and scale of the need. I'd like to hear you make these statements, Senator DeMint, in the media. We have agreed a new milestone in international public-private partnerships to ensure those in desperate need receive a future without borrowing from our own children's futures. The private sector investment in health care and orphan care will increase the public funds by 110% and that's great. All four committees that I sit on are impacted by what's happening in Africa and other emerging countries. For Americans to continue to consume and enjoy 246 products from Africa, we have to reverse the horrific deaths of 3,000 orphans and 5,000 workers a day. We can do this in a fiscally responsible way by leveraging the tremendous funding, innovation and resources of the private sector. The four committees, Commerce, Science and Transportation, Energy and Natural Resources, Foreign Relations Committee and the Joint Economic Committee can all work together to make this happen. Senator DeMint, you can tell the President you've negotiated with the private sector to provide $55 billion of investment to fund 2,166 children's villages across the continent of Africa and 20 million extra HIV AIDS treatments. Senator Mint, you know that this is a historic day for America. The President's legacy, Hope on Africa, demonstrates that we can be fiscally responsible and still fulfill our responsibilities to those in greater need around the world. So, Senator DeMint, make an announcement that you are releasing the hold on the PEPFAR legislation as President Bush is signing the executive order for the President's legacy, Hope on Africa. Together, the public and private sector can invest in creating healthy futures for the orphans and workers in Africa. Americans are demonstrating that they can balance enlightened self-interest with humanitarian work and reach out to those in need. You can tell the President that you agree with him and you agree with Ambassador Hope that by leveraging the funding and resources of the private sector, we can be more effective in serving the desperate needs of 13 million orphans and 25 million workers. All stakeholders, government, private sector, faith-based and community groups, Fortune 500 companies, celebrities, fan clubs, teachers, seniors and veterans can all put their compassion into action in the President's legacy, Hope on Africa. And that comes at zero cost to the U.S. taxpayers and very low risk. Senator DeMint, you're a hero.